Okay guys, Garrick season's upon us now. I'm gonna show you my favorite trace to use when using a live mackerel. You can either purchase one of these, saltwater sports traces that Kingfisher sell. They work extremely well, nothing wrong with them. Works well if you've got shad. I'm gonna be doing a mackerel, slightly different. This is big gun, 2.0 or 3.0 hooks. You need two of them. Kingfisher. 25 kilo, can't go wrong with it. Grapnel sinker of your choice. Your non-return can either be the power swivel version or the standard. I'll just stick to the standard. Um, no need to go too heavy when fishing for Garrick. Taken one out already. Some cotton latex. Very simply, what I'm gonna do is just rig up this part of it. Again, just a piece of nylon on a non-return and making a figure of eight. Two, three times. Attach to your swivel clip of your non-return. Three times around again. Go back through. Form the figure of eight. Bit of lubrication, slide down, pull tight. The nice part about this is you can throw quite far. So if you're on a beach and it's pretty flat, what you do is you actually hook that part of it onto your actual swivel. You, this could be a lot lighter if you want. If you want to break off and lose your sinker, I don't particularly like doing it. So that's 21 to 25 kilo Maxima Kingfisher. This is your leader line which you attach to it. And pretty much figure of eight. Slide down, all tight. Okay, what we do is we hook that on, we throw as hard as we can, as far as we can, that'll hit the water, it'll come off, and it'll sit in the water like that. Okay, put in your rod stand, park off and relax. Take our two hooks back to back, and these are very nice, sharp, they bent in quite a bit. Um, the reason we use it is so that the mackerel, when it's shaking, doesn't come off. That's why we like a um, beaked hook that actually bends inwards like that. And to do this, all we do, take our big gun. We prefer the big guns over treble hooks, simply because of the shape. If you used a treble hook, the mackerel shakes a lot and it actually comes off. The, because the treble hook is actually straight, the two that you actually stick into the mackerel, it actually shakes it and eventually comes out. So we stick to these big guns, they work extremely well for it. And your hookup rate will be a lot better. Just quickly doing that. And again, to finish it off, we're just using a whip finish, basically. So we take it in our fingers like that, we wrap it around, through, and over around, through and over, and we do this three or four times, doesn't really make a difference. You can make this up while you're watching ASFN on TV, or your computer at home. So basically that is our hook that we're gonna use. To make the trace for it, <coughs> I'm just gonna cut that off. We'll take a piece of Kingfisher, and it's always advisable to stretch the line before you put your bait on and remember the shorter you can keep the actual um, hook snooting 
the better it actually is, the less chance you've got of that fish actually tying knots in itself. Okay, so again, to do it, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a figure of eight. Put it through, and when we get there, lubricate, pull tight. So that knot has pulled tight on itself, and we slide it down until we get it to where we want it. And we leave a little loop there. Okay, we're making this about a meter in length just to try and prevent tangulation. We keep it quite short. Attach that to our, our uh, non return by doing a figure of eight. <coughs> Pull it tight. Just tie this back up again. I have to cut them off. Come on. Okay, so we've now thrown that out to sea. We're happy that it's sitting, it's not rolling anywhere. Take a toothpick, take a live mackerel, or mullet. If it was mullet, I'd be using the suey hooks, the silver hooks, but it's a mackerel, so mackerel's black on top. You want to try and keep it as natural as possible. Very important. Uh, Garrick are very visual fish, and they use their eyesight to hunt. So what we want to do, grab our mackerel. There's our mackerel there. Take a toothpick, just where the fin actually starts, basically starts over there. We want to take our toothpick underneath the skin and just under the skin. If you look closely, you'll see I'm just going under the skin. I'm not going deep into it whatsoever, just under the skin. And we're pretty much making it that length. Take your pliers, side cutters, whatever you got. We just Snip it off and push it in. Okay, can you see it running along there? There it is there, you can actually feel it. Then we take our hook, and again, we're not gonna go deep into it. We're just gonna go under that um, toothpick that I've put in there, and that's basically where it's sitting. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go underneath it, very lightly, and out. Okay, so all that's actually holding it in place is that toothpick. Nothing else. It's basically skin hooked. I'm then going to open it up, take this, and this is how the non return works. The arm always faces your sinker. So once you've thrown your sinker, this arm, as long as it's facing where your sinker is going, will go down. So now what we do is we go underneath it, like so and we start wrapping it around. And I'm gonna do it the other way around, because it's there. Sorry guys, just wanna get it right. Okay, and we just start wrapping around, 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 around. Make sure you don't damage the nylon when you're doing it, because this is quite tight against it. So there it is, inside it, then we're gonna Put the safety pin on it, like that. We're gonna take our rod and our live bait, and we're gonna go, I'm just gonna do this quickly, sorry. I'm gonna say to our live bait, bye bye, catch me a fishy. And you're gonna shake your rod tip as you let your live bait hit the water, and the mackerel will carry on sliding down. Now, very important, when you look at this non-return, that it actually bites in. You see how it bites in, guys? I'm going to show you again. It bites in. So when the mackerel tries to swim back to the beach, he can't do it. He has to go forward. He can't go back. So the mackerel is going to be swimming around in circles, doing whatever your mackerels do out there, until that garrick comes. He can't swim back up the beach. He can only swim one way, and that's straight down your line. So 
basically your mackerel swimming down there. The Garrick's going to see it and say, oh, you look nice, I'm going to eat you. And he's going to inhale the whole mackerel head first. These hooks, obviously he's going to inhale it like that. The hooks now, when you actually strike, and give it a bit of time to eat, eh? Like I always say, give him one rod length at least. So when you feel, oh, there's something, click over the bail arm of your reel, your multiplier, or your actual grinder. Let him go down, click it back over. When he goes down again and the light goes tight, then just tension up on him. Because you've got a grapnel sinker, just tension up on him. And this hook should come out. And you can see how hard you've got to pull because of that uh, toothpick that's under the skin there. See how hard you've got to pull on it before it actually breaks out. So once he tensions up, make sure you actually give him and pump him a bit there. And it's as simple as that. You get the garrick inside the throat every single time. Very simple, works like a dream. Especially if you've got live mackerel. Mm -hmm. Enjoy guys. Don't forget, we sell all these made up saltwater traces. Like I say, this is more for shad, but you can use it. And I'm gonna show you quickly how it works with this mackerel. Very simply, if you had a shad, these are ideal for shad. Being a mackerel, it's a lot smaller and a lot harder. This one here, you'd stick in the nose area of your mullet or mackerel or shad. Doesn't really make a difference. Take this. And you just want to go under the skin. Very important that you don't hurt your live bait. So what you want to do is, you want it about there. And you slide it, can you see, I'm just sliding it just under the skin. There we go, just under the skin. There it is. And out. You don't want to damage the fish too much. And that's basically your slide. If you were sliding for Garrick at night time for a dogger, Cob, other words, and basically this fish will go if it's alive or dead, doesn't really make a difference. If you shake it, it will go out. And it's as simple as that, guys. That's the saltwater sports trace and how it actually works.